everyone welcome back to on it food hill thank you for joining me in another recipe today i will be showing you how to make shakshuka shakshuka is a combination of simmering tomatoes onion garlic spices and poached eggs this is so easy to make and is a one pan recipe so you stay tuned and let's make it together start by placing a saute pan on the stove top Add about 2 to 3 tablespoons of olive oil. And once oil is heated, go in with one small chopped onion. Saute your onion for 3 minutes or until translucent. After that, go in with 3 minced garlic cloves and 1 large chopped bell peppers. And saute again for an additional 2 minutes. Go in with 3 cups of chopped tomatoes. Stir the tomato to combine with the onion mixture. I'm using chopped tomatoes because I have lots of tomatoes handy. You can also use canned tomatoes. You can now start seasoning this right away. I'm going to be going in with 2 teaspoons of smoked paprika. 1 teaspoon of cumin. Half teaspoon of ground coriander, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, you can add to your own test, half teaspoon of salt, and lastly one vegetable stock. Just crumble this inside. Once you have added all your seasonings, you can give this a stir and allow everything to combine nicely. After that, bring the tomato mixture to a simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. And we have been cooking our tomato sauce for the past 10 minutes. Now the water content in the tomato has reduced. Next, reduce your heat to a very low setting. Use a spoon to create some wells in the middle of the sauce. Now crack your eggs into the welt you have just created. And once you have cracked in all the eggs into the welt, you can go ahead and season this with a pinch of salt. And also with some crushed pepper. Go ahead and place a lid over the pan and bring this to a simmer on medium heat for about 5 to 8 minutes or until the eggs are cooked to your own liking. So once I've reached 8 minutes of cooking this, I know my eggs are all cooked. Go ahead and turn off the stove and then garnish this with some chopped cilantro. You can as well use parsley. And so our delicious shakshuka is ready. You can simply pair this with crusty bread. If you try this recipe out, let me know what you think about it down below. And you can also like the video and share with your friends. Until next time guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.